So today we've got two major things to cover. All right. One of them is actually uh, Fedora, Dash to Dock, and a few other extensions has updated themselves for GNOME 40, which I know many of you are excited for. And the second video is going to be about Arch, which now comes with its own Arch install, which is cool. I'll have to explain that in more detail on that video. But we're going to get started with Fedora um, 34 beta because... I don't really trust any other distro with GNOME 40 like I do Fedora. It's the smoothest experience that you can actually get, so that's why I do it. So we're going to give that thing 8 gigs of RAM like I always do, 4 cores, and hit finish, and let's get started. All right, so we're going to begin by making sure that we have the necessary tools, of course, to compile and install everything. And I am doing this in a VM, so, you know. Um, I need to actually figure out what brings down all the tools. Usually for Arch, it's base devil. That grabs most of them. I have to figure out what it is for Fedora. It's been a while. So I found it. We're going to give it a go. We're going to hope for the best. It's um, sudo DNF group install development tools and uh, development libraries. Sounds fancy. I like it. Now, this is the first time I'm building these repos, so it might take a bit, but they seem to be at good speeds right now out of the box, which is nice. Now, the reason I'm installing these is because we have to compile Dash to Dock, I still think, you know, to be updated for GNOME 40. And it's not available, really. Weird. Let's try the other way. From Fedora 23 and up, it was actually just development tools. I guess they wanted to bring it all together, and this should honestly give me everything that I need to just build anything that I want. So while this is doing its thing, we're going to go over here, and yes, I know I use this. We're going to go to dash to dock GitHub, and this is the one. Hopefully it doesn't bring me to their really extremely ugly, um, you know, thing. Work in progress initial port blur and border excuse me um blur and border a feature to blur the dock with a border as of now the border on top of the dock and there is no wow okay so there might be a lot of cool stuff this only achieves bare minimum functionality settings aren't tested the unity style stuff is probably broken thank god for that uh, it's usable so this is what we're going to be grabbing are you ready so how we grab it is we're going to click his branch and we're going to download his zip. We're going to save the file. We're going to show and I'm going to go and open the containing folder. We're going to uh, extract here. So whoop, just like that. And in here, we're going to open up terminal and we're going to do make. Hopefully with no capitals and properly friggin spelled. I'm going to just do, yeah, that's it. All right, so we're going to do make install. Now that we've done that, we're going to do this, and we're going to just restart the entire GNOME experience. Does that let us do that? Restart is not available on Wayland. Well, Wayland, you're a piece of garbage, and you need to fix that. Uh, let's go back to the site and check to see what the problem is. Well, well, I got it to work. Here it is. This is it. It's the exact same dash that's there. What is this thing? That's strange. Um, you have to use it on Xorg. Go figure. Apparently it's broken on Wayland, which I'm not surprised. Most things are still broken on Wayland. And... Honestly, it instantly goes to the bottom. Let's check and see what settings actually work, okay? First off, this window needs to be fixed, so we're going to just... So that doesn't work. All right, that was to be expected. You know, I'm just trying here. Let's try to get rid of that and that and that. Great, let's go to behavior. Um, appearance. We can, we can shrink the dash. I'm going to keep the dash large, though, this time. Uh, occup. We're going to just... Can we do that? It's not letting us do that. Okay. Uh, probably won't be able to change the colors either. 
We're going to keep this to default because if we change this to anything else, the icons will disappear. That's a Fedora 34 issue. And really, that's it. I mean, should we go all crazy and now just pimp everything out now that we have uh, everything ready to go? Huh? I'm sorry. I know I sound excited, but I really am. See, I've used Dash to Dock in more broken situations than you could ever imagine. So this this is working perfectly to me, right? Um, I need to just shrink this. Let me shrink this just real quick so I can... Oh, that looks that looks so good. Just It just pops up and pops down. Um, a message to the developers, though. If you guys are watching this, and I hope you are. Hello, huge fan. This should only be three pixels off the ground. Okay, anything higher and it looks really ridiculous. Or we need to add a setting where we can change how high this is off the ground. So we're going to grab user themes. You know I'm going to have an arc menu. A wallpaper generation extension for Gnome Shell inspired by Jitchi. Okay, I'm going to grab that. I don't know what the fuck that does. Didn't mean to swear. My bad. I'm going to grab that. I don't know what that does. Uh, we need to look for remove arrows. There's no drop down arrows anymore. So that's one less extension that I have to use. So let's actually go and upgrade this. Install it. Done. Arc menu. Install that. Done. Uh, I don't know what this does, as I already said, but we're installing it. Okay. Just Perfection, as always. We're going to go and grab this. I don't know if Just Perfection will work or not, because it's kind of... The button seems a bit weird. Uh, but we also need to grab Frippity Clock, because... <laughs> Yeah, Frippity Move Clock. There it is. And we're going to install that. Great. That moves the clock out of the way. The next one that we always got to grab is Gnome Transparency. So let's grab this one. I haven't used this one in, in a couple years. Boom. That actually looks really good. Not bad. And the last one that we have to grab, the last one, because, well, oh, oh no. But did they listen? Did they listen? No. Well, that sucks. Hopefully those will be updated. Let's exit out of this. Exit. Close nine tabs. Um, let's go back into extensions. And this app is extremely buggy. I hate it. I really do not like that app at all. We're going to go to background, and I'm just going to custom. Set that that much. Um, then, you know, click that on, I guess. Background, foreground, primary colors. You can enable text shadowing, which is cool. Icon shadowing, if need be. Uh, let's make that as fast as possible. So, oh, that was buggy. There, that's what I want right there. That's a perfect amount. Um, another one that I wanted to change was in just perfection because it says extensions right there. I'm not really that guy. So I want to get rid of that. Uh, everything else is looking pretty nice. A disabled hot corners. Good. I hate hot corners. Um, search dash. Everything else I think is pretty good. Did they fix the one issue I had where what can I I can't get there without my menu button? Alright, so we have to go back to extensions. Oh, never mind. Nope, they're still not uh oh, they need to fix this. This is really bugging me. You see, when you click here and you go in for the first time, right? You have rounded corners. But when you go in for a second time up top, they're straight corners. I mean, you figure they would be consistent. Or is that just not what they do? Because I would like if they were very consistent. I'm going to hop into just perfection and we're going to go down to um, corner size. Let's just put this to zero. All right. Scroll, please, at all. Ah, <sighs> zero. Nope. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are currently broken with these apps. 
Panel position top. You can move this to the bottom, I guess. Clock position center. Right hand. I guess this gets rid of Frippity Clock for me because you're able to move the clock position to the right. Uh, you're also able to offset it if you want. Animation speed. Fastest. Workspation switcher. Wow, that's pretty cool. So there you have it. That's pretty nice. That's Dash to Dock. We managed to get it set up and working. Uh, it fits in with the environment very well. It looks really nice. And we move applications. No, so I would have to remove that to add that. Got it. So limited functionality. Just remember this. I want to make this video as a work in progress showing towards everything. The next video we have coming up is Arch has an official installer. It's not what you think it is. It's not like every other distro. It's not like Fedora, Ubuntu, but it is kind of like Arch Fi, which I support 100%. So we're going to go take a look at that. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help. We've been going up in numbers a lot. We're almost to 19K subscribers, and I plan to get there soon, hopefully. So everybody that subscribes, I appreciate you a lot. And people who like the video, you too. So stick around. We have lots of Linux content coming up. Uh, emulation content with Rayo Jinx and maybe XEMU. Who knows? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Community Discord, description below. Don't forget to join that for every new video that drops. It will go in announcements. Bye-bye.